focus on 2024, and that's what Brian Cashman has done. He brings, he checks off a couple boxes, Soto, Alex Verdugo, and then they work to trade with the Dodgers. Ironically, Dodgers needed to clear a couple spots on the 40-man roster, so they sent lefty Victor Gonzalez, a reliever, and Yorby Vivas, an infielder, for Trey Sweeney, who was ranked approximately 10th in their system, but they had a major league quality left-handed pitcher for that bullpen. Yeah, and we've seen a little bit of Trey Sweeney in big league spring training, and we've liked what we've seen, but that lefty Gonzalez, you're thinking Wandy Peralta, who's out on the free agent market right now. I know the Yankees would like to bring him back, but Gonzalez, kind of a lefty who keeps the ball on the ground, keeps the ball in the ballpark, not a whole lot of home runs against him, has had some injury issues in the past, so this was a deal it sounded like L.A. had to clean up some roster spots to get a couple of players, Otani being one of them, and the Yankees had another match with them. Right. They need a 40-man spot for Otani and Joe Kelly, so the Yankees actually pounce in this situation. As much as they like Trey Sweeney, a former first-round pick, a Sweeney for a Vivas deal would have been fine. That would have been about an even swap. The numbers they had at AA last season, very comparable, both infielders. The Yankees get the lefty reliever in Gonzalez, a guy who was able to keep batters out of the ball, hit, from hitting the ball out of the ballpark, and also gets a lot of ground balls so he's someone who could loom in the Yankees future also averages about a strikeout an inning.